Welcome to my channel, I'm Chantel Page. And in case you missed it, I'm having a girl. So today I have Makeup by Moni here with me and Zoe, come here Zoe. And her little daughter Zoe is gonna be our assistant, or Moni's assistant for the day. Look how cute she is. But we're gonna do a fun little makeup tutorial of all pinks and girl vibes with enhancing the baby glow. So for all of you not having girls, or babies in general this look is still something you can do it's basically just going to give you that pregnancy glow that every woman wants without getting a belly and your hormones being crazy we're going to start off with dark shape tape which is my absolute favorite concealer i'm obsessed i literally just finished my last bottle and pulled out a new one i'm obsessed this is a must-have item this lid lock um, eye primer. Okay, this is another must have item, Obsessed, the Tartlet and Bloom. It's just a really pretty palette. Um, I usually use like these guys over here in the more neutral vibe. And today we're gonna do this one and this one. Pretty little shimmer guy on the lid. So pretty. Next up we're gonna do this, it's the Fake Awake. It's just really pretty. Light color that you put on the inside of your lower lid. Now we're back to shape tape. I get at this and I'm not so great. <laughs> what were you so good on it? Fake it. Now, this is Ultra Repair Tinted Moisturizer by First Aid Beauty. It's really great. To mix with the prenatal, we're going to do the NYX. It's Away We Glow. And you just mix in a little bit of that. Oh my gosh. First Aid and the NYX Glow. And then now we're gonna use this, which is Derma Blend, and it's my absolute favorite. It's their uh, loose setting powder. This is like their little travel size. Okay, so we're gonna let that powder kind of sit for a second and put on the bronzer. This is the Park Avenue Princess. So good. I'm gonna grab a new one because mine has like a huge hole in the middle because I use it every day. <laughs> so we're all bronzed up and now we're gonna use a blush from uh, ISH ish or It's Smoking Hot. It's this new makeup brand that I saw on Instagram and fell in love with because they're great. We're gonna mix these two together for the blush. with Hourglass, and this is their highlighters. So now we're gonna take these two guys that we used on the crease and put them underneath your eyelid. We got Sephora. These are their individual lashes. I'm obsessed with them, and this is what I use for my wedding. Um, but it's kind of fun to just add in a few for day to day. I, shoo I don't like doing whole ones just because I feel like it looks so dramatic um, when you're doing natural makeup. I love doing the individuals instead to just kind of like accentuate what you already have. Oh my gosh. We'll just put them on and show you since prosciutto is being so loud. <laughs> mascara the extreme lash mascara i'm obsessed with it it's so great i usually don't like non-waterproof mascara which i know is really bad because you're supposed to not use waterproof mascara every day but i do <laughs> and so this has been the first mascara that i've loved that's not waterproof and i'm very glad and my lashes are going to be so much prettier now because of it <laughs> You can 
hell I'm on an hourglass pick these days. But um, Savannah actually showed me this brow pencil and we're both obsessed with it. But it's great because it's got this like thicker edge. I kind of already lined my eyebrows this morning, but we're gonna kind of um, thicken them up a little and show you how to do it. You basically just want to outline like right underneath and then up and over to where the arch goes and then go down from there. And the trick that I was told is that you basically just wanna do like a line around and not fill in, cause that makes it from looking like really dark eyebrow. And then you take this guy and kind of like smooth it all together. So less is more with brows is what I've learned. obsessed with them but it's this really fun like crayon lime crime it's this really fun shimmery guy Ooh. Oh, it's just so dry I just remember I got this from Beaker these fun little water bottles but they just came out with a lip balm you can do some too you just have your finger on there but it's a gloss and it helps with your chap lips. All right, and there we go. We got our whole makeup look. We're all done. Nice and glowy. And do I look like I'm pregnant? Never supposed to tell a girl she looks pregnant. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Love you all lots. I'll put everyone in the description below, including Moni and Zoe and all the makeup that we used. So check it out. Love you guys lots. Give a big thumbs up to this video. Comment down below and let me know what kind of makeup tutorials you want to see next. There's certain things you want, whether it's like blues or greens or bronzes, or we're thinking of doing like a mermaid tutorial, possibly, which would be really fun. Possibly doing a burn book tutorial uh, from Mean Girls. Oh yeah, it's right there. All the Mean Girls looks. But comment down below. Let us know if you have any funny, fun or funny ideas for makeup. I would love to do them, right? With, with Zoe and Moni. All right, love you guys. Bye.